Hello there, my name is Joachim, I'm the webmaster from BiometricSolutions.com and today I'm going to review a face recognition software, a software which is called KeyLemon. Um, I've just purchased this software in its version 3.1.1 and I bought the gold edition. Now we're going to check out together whether this software is really worth a gold medal. So, first of all, let's configure KeyLemon. So, I have opened up the uh, home screen of the KeyLemon control center. On the left you see different tabs, so there's some configuration in the general tab. In the technology tab we'll set the security level to high and we will require one blink of the eyes for a successful logon. In the devices tab then there is not really anything to set up, that's all set by default. Then it's time to create a face model. We'll create three face models. That's the first one. Uh, so if you actually are going to use uh, Lemon, then you should create different face models in different lighting conditions to allow uh, the software for a good uh, recognition. Uh, now a second face model and then uh, yeah, each time you have to go through this and then you have to uh, enter your Windows password for each uh, face model to allow a later logon. Then a third face model this is just for testing purposes. Normally you would not create three face models with the same lighting conditions. That's quite useless. Okay, that's it. We don't use any voice models. Quick overview of the plugins. We'll only use Lemon Login in this case. And uh, that's it. So. We've just configured Keylemon and uh, I've logged off from my computer. So uh, I'm now onto the logon screen. You see all the different users uh, that can log in on this computer. And you see in the small Keylemon screen that Keylemon is actually detecting my face and it links the face to my accounts. Um, now I'm going to really look into the camera and it tells me I'm authenticated and it asks me to blink with my eyes as a sort of liveliness check. So I blinked my eyes, Keylemon successfully performed the liveliness check and I'm logged on to the system. Now I'm um, going to see whether can I, I can actually fool uh, Keylemon by using a photograph of myself, um, by taking a simple uh, selfie and doing some nice things using the simplest drawing program available. So let's take a selfie to start with. This should be okay. I'll upload that to my computer and I'll show you how I'm going to uh, fake blinking of my eyes uh, using a very simple trick in uh, Microsoft Paint. So I've opened the selfie I've just taken in uh, Microsoft Paint. I First of all I zoom in on the eyes because we want to fake uh, blinking of the eye. And then, oh, that is wrong. We are going to copy part of the eyelids and we're going to copy the skin tone color over the complete eye until it is completely covered. Both eyes are completely covered. We're going to draw some nice eyelids. Uh, we'll take a thick line for that. Aesthetics don't matter as long as uh, the software thinks the eyes are really closed. And basically that's it. So we're back at the Keylemon logon screen. First of all, I'll show you what I have on my smartphone now. Uh, this is the normal myself, and this is a sorry zombie-like picture of myself with my eyes drawn shut. So now I'm going to see whether this is sufficient to fool Keylemon. 
it's not very ergonomic so let's see I present myself and you see key lemon is already blinking that it's recognizing myself so but it's waiting for me to blink my eyes so I'll see it's not very practical so it's a bit of trial and error let's see it's not Any time now. I'm just swapping in between the images. Yep, yeah. and that's it. We're in. So I just I will show you in front of the camera what I did. I just with my finger switched in between images in a continuous way. And it's just a matter of trial and error, but yeah, in a few minutes this will work out. Just to be clear, I'll show you the settings of Key Lemon because I know I'll get comments on this stating that I fooled with the settings. These are the actual settings. As you see, Key Lemon was set on high recognition accuracy with a maximum. Uh, with the number of blinks required to log on of one. So guys, what uh, this shows is that face recognition, at least the face recognition offered by Key Lemon, today, today is not a viable alternative for passwords. It's, it's simply not secure enough. Uh, I fooled Key Lemon, I think two years ago, it was an older version, I used a video but today I demonstrated that even uh, using a simple picture, it could have could be a, a LinkedIn uh, profile photograph or a picture found on Facebook, could be used uh, to compromise your computer. And then you must know that I used this software with the highest possible security uh, settings. Uh, so in all honesty, and I'm sorry for the key lemon guys, but it simply is not secure enough. Thank you.